ready for dessert. You know, I'm usually doing main dishes and side dishes, and I've done a whole series of pizzas, but I haven't really done very many dessert recipes. So I was in the mood for dessert, and I was looking through my recipes, and I am going to make these chocolate muffins that looked really good. It's actually a recipe from Keto Connect. They are fabulous people. They do wonderful recipes that I love, but they called for peanut flour and I didn't have any, so I have to amend their recipe and use almond flour. So I'll make a note of that in my recipe, the fact that they called for peanut flour and I'm going to be using almond flour. Anywho, Let's do this and see how it turns out with the almond flour, shall we? All right. I've been snacking on these crackers here. Mm. They're so good. They're just, I just baked them. They're just slices of cheese. And then I sprinkled um, Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame blend. Yummy. And bake that 23 minutes and you really get a really good cracker. All right, you get Two recipe videos in one, almost, um, on with the show. So, again, I'm using almond flour instead of the peanut flour that the Keto Connect people call for. So I'm going to put in baking powder and Swerve. They call for Urethitol, which Swerve is basically Urethitol. It's just a brand. And cacao powder. And also um, Lily's Chocolate and 100% cacao. So um, I have a bar of that. And those are the dry ingredients and salt, if I didn't mention that. Uh, four eggs, some butter, heavy cream, and vanilla are the wet ingredients. So um, that's everything that goes in here. And I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. You know, I just um, was reading the recipe, and this recipe is chocolate chip chocolate muffins. So chocolate chips go in here. So my guess is I'm not using this, I'm using the chocolate chips. I had to correct myself on that. It says start uh, with by combining all the dry ingredients. So I've got a half a cup of the almond flour. And again, they use peanut flour. I've combined the baking powder with the salt and uh, because it's, they're both dry ingredients. So I'm sorry, that is uh, one teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. That's going to go in here. I've got a fourth a cup of Swerve, the erythritol, and fourth a cup of the uh, cocoa powder, cacao powder. They call for cocoa powder, and I just put in cacao powder. Hmm. I guess I can't read. Well, we're going to try it with cacao powder. Their recipe calls for cocoa powder. Yike. All right, I hope it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, but make note, they called for cocoa powder. I just poured in cacao powder. I get them mixed up. They, they spell so, so alike. Ugh, it's frustrating. All right, so do I have all the dry ingredients in? I do. So it says combine that well, stir it all up. not hard when it comes to dry ingredients. That looks stirred to me. So I've already started with uh, one mistake using cacao powder instead of cocoa powder. So I'm hoping it comes out. <laughs> Sorry Keto Connect, I don't know if you're ever going to see this. <laughs> All right, now it says in a separate bowl, ba -bum, put in the heavy cream. I have a fourth a cup of heavy cream and the butter, and that was four tablespoons of butter. I actually melted it, it didn't say to melt it, but um, I don't know how else to do this. It says to use a hand mixer um, and do it until it's well combined. So I'm gonna use a hand mixer. That's combined. So here's four eggs going in with the cream and the butter. And this is a teaspoon of vanilla, and that's going in there. 
and then it says uh, use a hand mixer to blend that up really well. And now that's mixed. Instruction says add all of the baker's chocolate and half of the Lily's chocolate, which is the chocolate chips, and then fold together. There's no way I could do that unless I melt this, but it doesn't say to melt it, so I'm going to go melt it. There's no other way to do this. It's like, you know, it has to be melted, so I'm going to do that. Before I add the chocolate, I add, I had to, I had to microwave it and get it out. You add the dry ingredients to the egg mixture. Um, so it says just put it all in and then blend that, but I'm going to give it a stir. Here we go. I don't have an apron on. Yike. Stand back. All right, so now that's in there and now we add the baker's chocolate in there. And fold it in. Oh, all you can see is me. Ah, forgot to turn my camera down. Let's do that. And now we're, it says just to add half of um, the chocolate chips and then fold it all together. Oh, heck. Doesn't say when to put the rest in. They're all going in. So now folding in all right so now we just pour this into the muffin tins ah. they're pretty and colorful i have these little silicon mat things my dog's making a complete ah. ruckus out there ruckus all right so we're just going to pour these in to the muffin pins. Ah. Quiet, Nikki. Hey, guess what? I found out what to do with the rest of these. Sprinkle them on top. <laughs> that is in their instructions, and I would have read it, you know, if I was really paying really good attention but I was trying to pay attention to you instead of what I'm doing these are now going in the preheated oven of 350 for mm -hmm. hello 20 minutes so here we go the timer has gone off so I'm going to take these out and test it with a toothpick. They look wonderful. Um, still a little wet. I'm going to give it two more minutes. These just went another couple minutes and um, that's all it took. They're done. Um, they're quite beautiful. We'll let that cool. But while that's cooling, I wanted to read why they used, uh, why Keto Connect used the peanut flour. They actually explain it on their uh, recipe page for this. They say, we've been experimenting with a number of low-carb flours lately, and there was only one that truly upped the job of harnessing all of this chocolate, which is peanut flour. Peanut flour is a new item in our pantry and we are all loving the possibilities it offers. I like to describe it as the middle ground between almond flour and coconut flour as far as liquid absorption goes. Interesting. Almond flour is not absorbent at all, while coconut flour is hyperabsorbent. Discovering peanut flour has really opened up some new options for us since it absorbs a good amount of liquid, but it doesn't get as dry or as crumbly as coconut flour often does. So I'm hoping, we used almond flour, I'm hoping this isn't a crumbly cupcake. Anyway, I'll be biting into one of these in a few minutes. I grabbed one with the silicone mat, which is uh, proving to be quite a nice 
thing. It comes out completely clean from the mat. So that was an interesting test since I've never used those before. Mmm. Mmm, moist. Still hot. <laughs> Couldn't wait. Mmm. Not crumbly. If you want to replace, if you don't can't get peanut flour, the almond flour works perfectly fine, um, and it tastes divine. Actually, it's very very chocolatey, which is what the Keto Connect people promise, is that it's a very chocolatey cupcake, and that it is. I gotta take another bite. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. You guys, wow. If you like chocolate cupcakes. You won't know this is a keto cupcake. You won't know it. You'll think it's one of those decadent sugar cupcakes that we've always ate in the past, you know. But I can't stop eating this, so I better say goodbye. So you don't have to sit here and watch me eat the whole thing, because that's what I'm going to do. All right. I hope you try this. Okay, guess what? Friends just stopped by and... I've got some people to taste test this thing, so let's do that. Hello, Alicia. You hello. taste tested my stuff before. Yes. And hello. Hello. Holly. Holly is going to taste it too. All, All right. right. Let's, let's do it. Oh, wow. These silicone. are cool. I know silicone. Isn't that I love really that. cool? Awesome. It just okay. pulls out. Mm. That's good. That's really ah. good. Ah. That's good. That's like <laughs> really good. Mm. It's very chocolatey, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Remember, it's like chocolatey. the perfect ah, consistency. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nikki, quiet. <laughs> you can't have any. All right, so proof mm -hmm. that I wasn't lying, that I'm not the only one. Chocolate mm -hmm. chips right in there. Mm. Yeah, I didn't show them that. The oh, chocolate please. chips. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the wonderful taste test. Enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And then you can eat your dinner. Mm -hmm. Dessert, <laughs> then dinner. There Dessert's you go. bird. That's right. <laughs>